okay uh to my recent posts about uh living and uh, working with a narcissist i was asked the question how do you leave how do you leave a narcissist uh, particularly when you have a child so i'm going to address that for a few minutes um you have to know that if you're the one seeking to leave and it usually is you not the narcissist but having said that uh, in choosing to leave that's a triggering event for the narcissist how can you leave me how can you do this uh people don't leave i leave that right they're a narcissist um it's going to be upsetting and so you have to know that as a triggering event uh, they're going to get angry and they're going to be vengeful. The narcissist will not look for the win-win outcome to settle uh, the issues between the two of you so that you can move on with your life. The narcissist will uh, seek to annihilate you. I'm not saying don't leave. Leave it if, if, if that's what you want to do but understand the disposition of the narcissist first. For some people, they're going to understand that disposition after and have to kind of work, work things through differently. So if you understand that this will be triggering, that this person is going to be vengeful, that they're not seeking to sort things out with you through any mediation or court process they're seeking to hammer you um, that means you have to be planful before you leave planful before you leave you have to have a personal safety plan in some situations because some people are, are violent and aggressive uh, you have to understand where your finances are at you have to have all your documents in place uh, I always advise speak with a lawyer so that you understand your rights and responsibilities. Please choose a collaborative law lawyer or a lawyer that's trained in collaborative law and mediation um, so that they support those processes so they don't see the narcissist coming and go, we're going to fight them more in court. Hallelujah. The narcissist loves that. They want to fight. You want to try as best you can to settle these things outside of court. There are strategies for being more successful. There are strategies, but you honestly, you have to learn them. So if you're going to leave a narcissist uh, and you have a child, and actually whether or not you have a child, you want to be planful. You don't want to just trigger this and then get help. You want to get help in advance for yourself. Uh, you want to have a safety plan. You you uh, you want to line those ducks up first because it it is typically uh, a struggle. Okay, so uh, you know this is just a tidbit. Um, I can't do therapy through Facebook. Uh, I can just point some of these things out. Hopefully, it is of service to you. Um, you need to learn how to uh, respond to, how to negotiate with this person. Uh, you need to understand that this behavior, this person, they're not like others. And if you bring those strategies that you would have with working with a normal person, a non-narcissist, they backfire. You actually have to learn a new set of strategies so that you can act strategically in dealing with a narcissist to extricate yourself and come up with, um, hopefully, a livable arrangement. I'm Gary Derenfeld. I'm a social worker. Uh, I hope this is of some value. Bye now.